At Native Maine, we work with over 88 local farms and producers across the state. It's such an honor to be able to work with such amazing farmers and manufacturers. We really value our partnership with Native Maine. They're just a great group of people to work with. When you buy from a local business, that local business owner is using that money to pay local people to work and then go out into the community and spend those dollars. Native Maine can do that for us and we can focus on growing the food. We're the pros at growing the mushrooms and Native Maine are the pros at distributing them. We're Kate and Jason. Welcome to our restaurant, Fish and Whistle. It's fish and chips for the most part, but we're going to serve a bunch of stuff that complements that. We really wanted to open something that could be kind of accessible to people and also offer a good lunch and dinner option. A big one we're really excited about is a squid sandwich, like a calamari sandwich. Calamarwich? Calamarwich? Yeah. Squidwich? Trying to figure out what to call it. Squidwich, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Jason and I met working in restaurants um, around the corner from each other. Yeah. And we've both kind of done a little bit of everything. We've been in restaurants for over 20 years. It looks like we're on track for opening June 1st-ish. Um, yeah, and we can't wait to feed everybody, and meet everybody. Now I'm gonna go into the kitchen and make today's featured recipe. My name's Kate. I'm the owner and pastry chef at Fish and Whistle in Biddeford. Um, today's featured recipe is a milk chocolate and coffee custard tart with coffee caramel. We were just over at Time and Tide. They're right down the street. I'm going to be making our coffee and milk chocolate custard with their year one coffee. It has a real creaminess to it that's going to infuse really nicely into the dairy. This is a great tart to make for a brunch or even an after dinner. Uh, it's definitely for coffee lovers. It's really strong, roasty, delicious coffee flavor. I have some ingredients to work with today. What you're gonna need first is some coffee. Um, high quality is good. If you wouldn't drink it, you probably don't wanna cook with it. So I have the coffee, got some milk infusing with some crushed coffee in it. I have some heavy cream, two egg yolks, and then a mix of sugar, some maple sugar, some cornstarch, and some uh, slack type sea salt. And in this bowl, I've got milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and some tempered butter. You want to have ready a tart shell. Um, I made this ahead of time, baked it off completely, so it's just ready to go. If you do want to make your own, uh, we have the whole recipe, including the tart shell, up on platethestate.com. The first thing you want to do is infuse your coffee beans into the milk. I usually let them infuse about 15 minutes. You can see it's steeped in there and darkened significantly. Uh, once the coffee is infused in the milk, we're going to strain out the coffee beans. All right, I have my coffee infused milk. Once you have your dry ingredients mixed together, I'm going to add a little heavy cream and make a slurry. So this is going to be a, a loose paste and by adding a small amount of liquid to the dry goods, we're going to make it essentially lump free. Once it's smooth, you can add your egg yolks. You'll know when it, you're good to stop mixing when it's pretty smooth and fluid. The maple sugar sometimes doesn't dissolve all the way, but that's okay. Once you have a loose paste, you want to add it right into your coffee milk. You're gonna stir it all together and pour it back into the pan. So I'm gonna take this mixture back over to the stove and bring it up on medium heat until it just starts to boil for maybe 15 seconds. So you wanna stir this the whole time uh, and it's gonna go from very loose and liquidy and then it's gonna start to thicken. Once that starts, it happens very quickly wait until there's kind of big, big bubbles in the middle of the pan. Now that it's come up to a boil, we're gonna bring it back over and I'm gonna strain it right into our chocolate and butter mix. Just use any sort of fine strainer that you have kicking around the house. So you wanna pour the custard, strain it right into the chocolate and butter. You want to push the custard through the strainer and any little bits of coffee that are left or any little bits of egg are gonna be left behind. 
I like to make sure the chocolate and butter are fully covered by the custard, and then I let it sit for about three minutes. So it's been about three minutes. The chocolate and the butter are fully melted under here. And I'm just gonna stir it together. Once it's smooth and shiny, we're actually gonna cover it and put it in the fridge to completely cool down. I actually have a custard that I made yesterday. Take your pre-baked tart shell, just spoon your chilled filling into the tart shell, and then smooth it with the offset spatula. You can smell the coffee and the chocolate. It smells so good together. Once that's done, uh, put a piece of plastic over the top to keep a skin from forming and put it back in the fridge. So after it's been about an hour, you can take the tart out. I topped it with a little whipped cream and dusted it with some cocoa powder. Now we can eat it. To portion the tart, I like to use a wet towel and a blowtorch if you have one. If not, a hot wet towel will work. It's how you get the cleanest cuts, the cleanest lines without making a big mess. I have my serrated knife, heat it up with a torch. You wanna cut the crust before you go through the filling to keep the slices from breaking. And wipe the knife off between cuts. We're gonna top it with a little bit of this. It's a coffee infused caramel. So this is the milk chocolate and coffee infused custard tart with some coffee caramel. All the recipes are online at platethestate.com and I can't wait to welcome you to Fish and Whistle. Mm -hmm.